Hey, 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 I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Dan, and welcome to the Mobile Artist Cafe. Would you like to dramatically speed up your workflow for designing character heads? Do you want to be able to make quick variations on the fly? In this episode, I will show you how to draw with lightning speed when designing your character faces to get just the right look using the symmetry tool in Procreate. Let's get this party started. All right, let's start by opening up the Procreate app and creating a document. In the upper right corner, we want to click on the little plus sign and we're going to choose square 2048 by 2048 pixel. All right, we want to click over here on the actions tool, which is this little wrench right here. Then you want to select canvas. Below there, you want to turn on drawing guide, then tap on edit drawing guide. All right, on the bottom of the page here, you want to tap symmetry, turn the thickness all the way up and the opacity all the way up for your center line, your symmetry center line. Make sure that assisted drawing is on and make sure that you've selected vertical. You can use this line up here to select the color for your center line. Uh, I'm gonna go, I guess, with a uh, red. Then tap done. All right, the next thing we want to do before we create our female character is we want to go over here to the layers, tap on it, tap rename, and we want to rename the sketch. All right, we're gonna go and choose our brush tool. And we're gonna go under sketching and we're gonna choose a technical pencil. All right, so now we need to pick a light color and I'm just gonna go with a light blue. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw a circle that represents the upper part of the head. And you wanna make it, I guess, in the upper half We're gonna come down and draw where the cheeks would be, jaw and chin. And on the bottom third, you're gonna draw a straight line across. And that line is gonna represent where the middle of your eyes will be. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is create the eyes and we're gonna make them kind of almond shaped. All right, next we're gonna do the nose. We're gonna make sure that the nose falls right around the bottom of that line on that circle. Like so. And then we're gonna do some nice full lips. On the side, we're gonna make some ears. And then we're gonna draw a neck. I'm gonna make it relatively thin. All right, now the next thing we want to do is to take and make a copy of this layer. So we're gonna tap on layer, slide it over to the left and tap duplicate. And then that top layer, we're going to clear it. We're gonna tap and then select clear. This layer, we're going to reduce the opacity of. So we want to select that layer, click on your tool right here, select opacity, then slide this down. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now what we're gonna do with that layer that we just cleared is we're gonna go back and we're gonna make another head. We're not gonna put anything else in there. So if we turn off the layer below it, this is all we're gonna have. 
All right, next we'll create ink lines to go over the sketch that we just did. But first, we want to go to the sketch layer that we made a copy of. We're gonna turn that off. We're gonna tap on it and we're going to rename it template. All right, on the sketch layer, we wanna tap on that, turn it back on, tap and hold it and slide it up to the top. So now that's our top layer. Now we want to go in and create a new layer. This new layer, we'll rename it to inking. Tap on the layer again and make sure to turn on drawing assist because that's gonna make sure that we have our symmetry on both sides. All right, we're gonna select the color black for our pen. Then we're gonna to go to inking and choose the studio pen. Then we're just gonna trace over what we've already done, but make sure that you're drawing on the inking layer. All right, so now we have our head inked in, and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make multiple variations. That was why we made a copy of the um, sketch line. All right, next we're going to group the sketch layer and the ink layer together, and then we're gonna make three more groups. A group for eyes, a group for nose, and a group for mouth. All right, to create a group, what we're gonna do is take our sketch layer, tap on it, hold down, drag it on top of the inking layer, and when you see this little square turn blue, you're gonna let it go. So both of those are now in the same layer. Go ahead and turn off that sketch layer in that group so that we only have the inking layer. And we're gonna rename this Girl One. Now we're gonna create a new layer and another layer and another layer. Now each one of these, we want to go in and turn on Drawing Assist. And we're gonna take all three of these and put them in one layer. So what we're gonna do is tap the first one, slide to the right on the second one, slide to the right on the third one, and then select Group. Now we're gonna take that group and slide it to the left and duplicate it. And we're gonna do that one more time, duplicate. Go ahead and turn on the bottom layer that says template. And we can turn off the layer that says girl one. This one we're gonna rename mouth or mouths with an S. This one we're gonna rename noses. And this one we're gonna rename eyes. All right, so what we're gonna do is open that first layer for the eyes and we're gonna go back to our sketching tool. Choose blue as we had before. All right, so now we should be on that bottom layer in the group for eyes. So what we're gonna do this time, we're gonna draw some anime eyes this time. And then we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna to go to the next layer up and we're gonna draw another set of eyes. Then we're gonna turn that layer off and we're gonna make one more set of eyes.
All right, I went through and I made inking layers for each of the eyes, noses, and mouths. And I also went through and properly labeled each layer because one of the things you wanna make sure you're doing when you're working with layers is to have everything properly labeled so that when you go back and you need to make changes, you're not scrolling through a bunch of layers trying to figure out, oh gee, what was it I needed to change? If everything's properly labeled, you won't have to worry about it. For the mouths, I went through and I made a, an inking layer for the mouth, inking layers for the nose, and inking layers for the eyes. So now that we have our basic head set up for our character, we can go through the different layers and swap out features and that way we're changing the look of the character very rapidly without having to redraw the character over again. So if I wanted to use a different set of eyes, I can just go to the eye layer, turn off one set and turn on another. If I wanted to do the nose, I could do the same thing, just turn off one nose and turn on another. And for the mouth, turn off one mouth, turn on another. So we can really rapidly go through and make changes to the character without having to redraw things over and over again. And we can also do the same thing for the hair. All right, I'm gonna make a layer. I'm gonna call this layer hair so that it's properly labeled. And I have to make sure that I turn on drawing assist. All right, so if we want to draw the hair, we can do the same thing. If you want to make hair that is not symmetrical on both sides, then all you have to do is just go in and turn off the drawing assist. So I go to my layers, go to the hair layer, turn off drawing assist. Now, if you're doing something like braids, then you're probably gonna wanna keep it pretty symmetrical. And then like when you get down to things like the tips, it is so much easier not to have to worry about doing the same thing over and over for both sides. Now, if you wanna go back and turn off the drawing assist because you want to have th the symmetry as well as some asymmetrical design, then you can do that as well. Well, that's all for this episode, my friend, and we'll see you next time. So from myself and the rest of the gang here at the cafe, thank you for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check back each week to stay up to date with our latest information. And don't forget to leave any comments or questions in the details below. And you have a fantastic day.